everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you my design team project for Kitty Scrap Post. And I used the Easter Elegance. Um, this is like the cutouts that you get. I wish I had printed up bigger so you could see it better, but you get these over here. And these little um, envelopes and then some cards and then more little car uh, cutouts but I use these right here aren't they adorable and what I did let me see if I have it here yep I made it big like this you know to fit um, eight and a half by eleven and just use them individually Aren't they cute? This one's like my favorite here. And look at this one, how stinking cute that is. They are all, I just love them so much. Okay, and then I use the Easter Elegance Paper. I used a lot of that one, I know for a fact. <laughs> and I use this one here, I know it's hard to tell because these are little and I use this one so this is the paper that I used and then I used these here which are uh, postcards aren't they beautiful look at that look at all the detail in that so so pretty and look at this little chickadee <laughs> pulling an egg isn't they cute? Alright, so let me share with you my project, which I love. Um, here it is. They call this a skinny mini. Yep, I don't do minis, but I saw Sabrina make one of these, and I just fell in love. And she was inspired by Sharon who is the Tara here on YouTube. So thank you ladies so much for your inspiration. So let me go ahead and share with you what this is all about. So it's exactly what it is. It's a mini and it's skinny. <laughs> so, okay, so I put this trim here, which I believe I got from Annie Muscarden Grove, I believe. And this gorgeousness is from Artie, and she is, oh gosh, okay, it's escaped my mind at the moment, but it will come back to me. Okay, so this picture here was on one of those postcards, and I just fussy cut it out and put it there. And one little dreamer <laughs> came to me, one little dreamer. So this is kind of like a butterfly, and I pe put a piece of her bling, like, going down on it. Isn't it pretty? I love it. All right, so then I just gathered some flowers and tried to, you know, match the paper. So there's blues and yellows and pinks and whites in there. And this little flower, isn't that cute? I got that from my friend Liz. Thank you, Liz. And this butterfly, too. It came in a little um, pack. They're like resin, but they're really dimensional. Look at how dimensional those are. So I used those, and I used this spray here. And um, that's from the Ashland Collection at Michael's. And this little spray here with the leaves... That is from um, Artie Store as well. One little dreamer. And then I put these little flowers here. See the little flowers? Aren't they adorable? And that is from M. Thank you, M. And the little bling inside as well. So I, it's probably hard to see it. But there's like a little flower, and then I added the bling in the center. Aren't they cute? Um, oh, and then I just have this little, um, here, let me untie it. This little um, piece here. I don't know. I had it in my stash, and 
I'm not sure where I got it from, but it's a like a beautiful mauve color. And this flower here, you notice I only use one, Louisa. <laughs> I'm hoarding them. This is from my friend Louisa, who owns the store, Kitty Scrap Post. So I did use that. So yeah, there's a lot going on there in that little cluster. Oh, in these little stamens here, that there's a yellow and there's a blue. And another yellow one over there. Those are from Liz as well. She's Liz Varga here on, wait a minute, she has a number, 4444 here on YouTube. So I just covered the front of it with this beautiful paper. Um, and then, then, like I said, um, added this and then put, um, I think it's Victorian velvet around like the white edges. And then around the darker edges, I did the walnut stain. And around all of the edges of the papers here, I use Victorian velvet, velvet as well. So that is the front. And then you open it up. Look at how neat and tidy that is. So here's a flap here, and I didn't do anything with it. So, you know, the um, recipient can um, put what they want, pictures, um, um, uh, you don't know, write something, whatever. And then you open it up, and I added this here. We'll put it like this. I have this lace here, and it has these little these little holes going through it so I just weaved in this pretty lace here that I had in my stash and then I added this beautiful um, it's like really really see-through and it's a mauve color and then this gorgeous um, center there so I thought that matched beautifully and then there's this page here, and look at how beautiful this paper is. Isn't that gorgeous? And then you can put a photo here, some journaling. And um, I just added this, you know, and this going across just for like a little interest. And then this side over here, this is my favorite. I fussy cut this out. See the little doves? And then there's an egg. And look at all the beautiful flowers and ribbon. Oh, it's so beautiful. So I just mounted that on this um, piece here that I had in my stash. I thought I had it around. Yes, I do. It looks like this. And this is actually from a curtain that I, that I um, repurposed. So it's one of these panels here and then put another crochet doily in the back of that very very pale and I did the same thing down here with that lace and put some more like rickrack ribbon through there and then did the same thing up here and I tried to match the blue you know to make this pop out of it isn't that so pretty I'm so proud of myself for doing this I can't even tell you so oh hang on we got a flap here and I fussy cut her out isn't she so cute okay so there's a flap there and you can put a picture at the top here maybe some writing here and then there's this page here which is like my most favorite page in the paper I just love it isn't it gorgeous look at the colors in that and look at how beautiful she is isn't she just amazing? And the little scissors down here. Isn't they cute? Louisa just does an amazing job with her printable papers. Look at those roses, how shabby chic, huh? Just beautiful. So that's what that looks like. And then this flaps back down. And then we have that one there. And then when you turn the page... Um, on both sides here are places where you can slip things in and I just cut out these gorgeous um, postcards see there's that the egg with the doves that I cut out 
And then on the back, I printed the paper. So I printed the paper, turned the paper around in my um, printer, and then printed these on the the opposite side. You know, so that would be pretty on both sides. And then there's this one, a little chicky, and that has stuff on the back as well. And then look at this one here. This one I changed the color a little bit because um, it was more of a brighter color than what I wanted for this project. So you can do that as well. You can change, you know, lighten or darken the, the color. And again, that just has um, the coordinating paper. And then on this side, here are these. Look at how stinking cute that one is. Look at the beautiful egg. Look at the details in there. Isn't that beautiful? That's Peter. <laughs> and again, I did the same thing. And look at these two little um, bunnies dancing on their eggs. Aren't they cute? And again, there's the um, coordinating paper on the back. And look at this one. Look at these little chickies. Aren't they beautiful? And look at the hot air balloon egg. <laughs> Isn't they cute? How stinking cute is that? And then on the other side it says Happy Easter, I'm sorry, Easter greeting. And then it's got, again, the coordinating paper. And on here I used um, one of my Martha Stewart punches. And then I have like three layers of different um, laces. I have this white eyelet, and then I have this lighter blue, and then this pale, pale, pale pink. So that's what that looks like. Let me turn it around so you can see it a little bit closer. So that's what that looks like. And I did the same exact thing on the other side. And then these um, go right in and the recipient can use them for whatever. And then that closes. And then I have this side right here. And this is one of my most favorite papers in the Easter elegance. Isn't it gorgeous? I just love her. She's so stinking cute. and I love her hat and her flowers and her dress and little birdie and these gorgeous flowers. And look at the pretty cameo. Gorgeous. And then up, up here it says Easter. And then over here I just put this really pretty um, dainty little lace. All the way down and then I put it on the top of this side here and then this um, page look at how stinking cute look at this bunny with the little glasses <laughs> and then there's like an urn and a thimble and a beautiful flower pot with flowers so pretty oh and a spool very beautiful. So I made this a little pocket here, and then I have um, these. Aren't they beautiful. Look at her. How look at her egg. Her eggs. <laughs> I just love this image so much. These I didn't print on the back though. I forgot to. And then there's this one. I've used her a lot. <laughs> as well. And there she is. Look how cute she is. Isn't she adorable? And I just love the color combination of this. It's so spring-like. A very happy Easter. So, and then it's just got the coordinating paper. And those just fit right in the little pockets so you can um, put pictures on the back or journaling or you know just keep it like this and look at it if, if that's what you want to do and then on the back is 
um, this page again. As you can tell, I love it. Isn't it pretty? So, so pretty. I just love this paper so, so much. Okay, and so it closes like this, and then like this, and then it ties around. And I have it tied at the top because I didn't want it to obstruct the egg so it ties like that and there you have it my skinny mini so I'll leave the um the link to um Sharon's channel who is the Tara and um because she has to her video linked how to create this so there is an actual um, tutorial, very easy to follow, and again, it's just, it's really easy and a lot of fun. And look how stinking cute it is. So there you have it. I hope you like my project for Kitty Scrap Post. Um, again, it's the Easter and Elegance. Very, very beautiful paper. Not only for Easter, you guys, because as you saw, there are so many um, papers in here that are not Easter related. Um, you know, even some of these here. So we have this gorgeous image here. And then we have the beautiful Marie. And then there's the Eiffel Tower. So again, like I said, it's not all... Um, Easter. Look how beautiful that is. Okay, so I'm rambling now. Um, again, I hope you like what I created. My skinny mini. I'm very proud of it. Um, not really good at, um, you know, making them. They're really, you know, just, I don't know. I just really like this when I saw Sabrina. was like, oh my god, I got to try that. So, again, thanks for watching, everybody, and have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.